What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming back at you again. Uh, second part of the series here, the 343 Studios coming out of the Family Worship Center in Charleston. Big thanks to those guys for letting us use this facility so that I can kind of show you some of these products that we've got. This is the onstage sub shaft with removable M20 thread. I'm gonna talk to you about that. All right guys, DJ Mike James coming back at you again. Um, if you watched my last video, you'd seen that I bought the Pro-X uh, fly point shaft, the ST, uh, STL bar, five foot. Um, now I probably wouldn't have made that purchase if I was still having to use my issued PV stands because they are not adjustable. They only go up to maybe head level and then those that, that bar would have just been just barely over my head. And uh, I was uh, advised by another super popular DJ, DJ Solstice, to get the Vondi Note uh, adjustable M20 threaded poles, which the build quality on those was fantastic. The problem was it would not fit into my PV, PVXP powered subs because it is a drop down M20 threaded socket. But we're gonna talk about that here in just a second. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm gonna stand this up. I have to watch it as I get this cut open and show you guys what's inside here. As we pull this out, you're going to see that this is an adjustable stand pole, which of course, most of you guys have these already. Uh, the problem with most of them are, is that this is a single size shaft coming down into an M20 thread um, this one does have set screws in it because this is removable. So you pull these set screws, put a screwdriver in there, you can twist this off and use it as a regular drop down socket style uh, sub pull. Um, however, I needed this style with the M20 threading on it so I could fit it into my PVXPs. So give us a second, we'll get this set back up again and I'll show you guys what the issue was with the other sub pull. Here we are coming back at you again, guys. These are my PVXP 700 watt powered subs. Now I have not done a video on these subs or my tops for that matter, which uh, I guess if you know, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys wanna know about and have me do a video on these. Um, I know a lot of guys are doing RCF or LD or uh, you know some of these more popular systems. I really don't, I mean, for most of the venues I play in, these things are fantastic. Um, I purchased this setup because these things are tough as nails. They are road tested. I've had them several years. I, I beat them up. I mean, I take, I play gymnasiums with them and these things do sound great. You'll see they are a little bit beat up, but that's only because I work so much. But um, if we take a closer look here, I want you guys to see the hi-hat on this, the top hat, whichever you call it. Um, this is a drop down threaded. So the regular PV sub pole, you know, is a straight pole like this that threads right down in there. So when I did get the Vondi Note ones, they would not fit in this socket. So I was like, ah, I ended up having to return them because this drop down socket made it an issue. Although I do like that for the support, but then on stage made this product and I'm super happy about it. It does look a little odd when I put them in there because they reduced the size of the, sh of the uh, sub pole here so that that M20 would fit into your socket style. And this was the only brand that I had found. Now I'd used a lot of onstage products previously in bands. That was my amp stand was non stage. A lot of my mic stands were on stage stands. And uh, I didn't, you know, as I was searching for another product because I did want to get another lighting system to put on top of my speakers, I couldn't keep them at that, at that such a shallow height. You know, the PV sub poles are only so tall. So if we take a look here, these set screws have all been tightened down. This is all tightened down as it sits right inside that socket, threads itself in. The one thing that I don't really care for about it, and that actually lines up right to the back, is that it doesn't exactly come up to the you know, to the dimple here, which would be nice if that just sat flush against my top, but that's not a super concern of mine. Like I said, these are, that is in there solid. It is not going anywhere. And then with the adjustment port on this allows me to bring this, to bring my subs up 
I get a lot of comments in my videos that my subs are too low and I'm honestly just using the pull that PV sent me to match up to the uh, my matching PV tops. But with on with this on stage stand, which the link will be in the description for this for this particular stand, like I said, it was a lifesaver for me. I could not find anything that would just sit down in this cup and screw in for me. And I also like that the knob and everything screwed in is to the back. I'm hoping they're both like that. I don't know yet, but if not, what I would end up doing was I would just turn the I'll turn the cup so that this knob and stuff faces the back. I don't like them hanging out the side or on the front or whatever. So if we get back up here, I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So now I'm gonna show you guys that we do have several mounting points on this as we can adjust this sub pole up. And now I can get this sub pole. That is the max out position. Now, if anyone says my speakers aren't high enough in this, in this application, of course, I can tighten this down. In this application, I mean, that speaker is going to, that's gonna be the bottom of my speaker, so the top of it would probably be eight foot in the air. I mean, that's, it, that's a pretty good distance to span on this. I doubt I'd ever run them that high. Uh, depending on the venue, I know I do, I do a lot of stuff outdoors where I would want that speaker to be a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and set it middle of the road here. And then I'm gonna get my speaker up on here so you guys can take a look at it. I'm also gonna go ahead and leave the uh, Pro X fly point light bar on there too so you get a better idea of just how far. This is a standard six foot folding table that I'm on. This used to be my DJ booth, if you believe that, years ago. And then we'll get this, a pretty good idea of how, how high up that fly point is. And then I can move this up or down to adjust it exactly where I want it. Stay tuned. All right, so now as you can see guys, I've got my PVXP. The issue previously was that I couldn't fit that down into that cup, you know, that screw in cup. The onstage pole took care of, the, this sub pole took care of that. Um, it's in there nice and tight, it's super stable. And keep in mind, I'm only about halfway up on the settings here. It's kind of making me want to kind of max this out just to see how high it goes. Even though I'm roughly about six foot I mean, you can see that puts my light bar at about eight foot right there. And let's go, let's just see how far up this thing will go. So I'm gonna try to move this up a little bit. Of course, uh, most of my setups I do alone. So let's see how difficult this is gonna be. We up two more settings. Tighten that down. Figure that's probably eight and a half foot. But that is not bad. I mean, honestly, if, if I'm outdoors and I really need to project this sound over a crowd, a lot of times my sub pole is only like maybe this tall. My speaker's maybe head level, and this puts this thing right up in the air for me. And I believe there is still a couple more settings if I wanted to take this all the way up to the top. I didn't bring a tape measure with me to be able to uh, measure the actual height of this, but uh, it looks pretty impressive and it already looks way better, especially for outdoor events bigger venues where I'm having to cast music over the tops of my crowds. So uh, stay tuned. All right guys, so in conclusion, the uh, on stage uh, sub pole drop-in socket, love, love, love this purchase. Allows me to really get some height on my speakers now. So all you guys out there that are telling me my speakers are too low, not anymore. Now, of course, there are times when my other sub poles work, especially at the bar. The ceilings are super low in there, plus I get lighting up over them. So I do still use my, my standard poles, but uh, in some of my bigger venues, this is going to be my go-to pole from here on out. That lets me get these speakers up over my crowd, get my music pushed to the back of the room, and I'm super, super happy with these on-stage products. Again, the link will be in the description. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, I just broke 900, 910 subscribers. I'm getting super close to my to hitting my 1,000 subscriber mile mark. And with you guys' help, hopefully we'll get there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.